What's up guys? Back with another video with the Blue 2000 Extended Cab Silverado. So I don't really want to show it because I'm in the middle of filming about three different videos with it. But in this video you're going to see the interior cleanup, restoration, mini restoration I guess. And the console install and the shifter. So yes I do have the remote shifter kit ready. It's in my truck and I'm ready to start building the kits as soon as I have all the materials and parts. I have some stuff that's come in the mail that I'm waiting for yet, so not quite ready for that yet. But in this video, like I said, you're going to see the interior cleanup. That's why I want to make this video first. So you see that before the remote shifter kit. So the remote shifter kit video will be a separate video, obviously. I'll show the kit in more detail, go over all the information and everything, and then that's when I'll announce that they're for sale. So they will go up on my website, as I've said before. So I can't remember everything that I actually filmed while doing the process, but it's a little bit of just bits and pieces here and there. So if you want to stay tuned and watch the video, see how it all went, go ahead and do that. But if you just want to see the finished product, I guess you can just go to the end and see that. But Like I said, the remote shifter kit video will be separate, and that video will go up pretty soon after this video, within a few days, I would think. And I'll have the kits ready to go for sale on my site. But you'll have all the information about that in that video, so stay tuned for that. But here's the rest of this video. I don't know if this will make it into a video, but I'm in the process of making a new remote shifter kit that works with the stock shifter on a 9906 Silverado. But I thought I'd film just a little bit of a progress here. I just pulled the front seats out. I don't think they've ever been out before. You always find some weird stuff under the seats. Found a bunch of change. So found a couple nice stainless Allen bolts and a really long nail under the seat as well, but thought I'd just document what it looks like now. If I end up doing a little bit of an interior restoration video on this truck, I have some footage of what it looks like before I really start ripping into it. But like I said, I got the two front seats out. I always find some weird stuff under the seat, so just thought I'd document this. A little bit of an update here. Well, here's another little update. I always say I like to take seats out, and this is why. Just proving that again, so find some more weird stuff under the middle seat after I pulled it out bunch of junk, some jelly beans, dirty old napkins and stuff, so always like to take the seats out of trucks whenever I can, especially since I'm working on the remote shifter kit right now, but anyway, I still like to take seats out, so. So here's the seats after I pull them out, here's the middle seat, probably will not use this, will probably stay with the full console after I put it in, but here's the passenger seat, looks really nice, not much aware of any kind. Pretty clean, looks like it hasn't hardly been sat in it at all. The driver's seat's a different story. You can see it's dirty all over. Bottoms ripped, cigarette holes. This is cracked, I actually got a new one, so I may or may not go with a whole new driver's seat bottom cover. I have them on eBay for about 200 bucks, but we'll see about that, but just thought I'd document the seats here before I touch them. Another little update here. I got pretty much everything out of the interior. So just for reference here, this is underneath the sill plate and you can pretty much see that's what the color is supposed to look like. That's what most of the carpet looks like. The driver's side footwell is really bad, but carpet's pretty stained up and this truck's not quite nice enough for me to want to spend like 450 bucks on a new carpet yet. So. I'm going to pull the whole carpet out, see if I can get it cleaned up. The more I work on this truck, the more I hate not having a back door on the driver's side. But Well, this side, gonna, it's a little wet under there. It, it's possibly from when I had this seal off of the windshield and I power washed in there and pretty much water went straight down the windshield and down onto the floor. I think was that, that's what that's from, but I'm going to pull the carpet out, see if I can get the carpet cleaned up. Get that pad underneath cleaned up and dried out so I can put it all back together. Another update. Got the carpet and the insulation out. I also took the lower panels off the dash since so I have to replace all those for the console. A lot of you guys were asking me what this switch was in the middle. It had a green wire. One wire went up towards the radio and I traced the other wire all the way around into the engine bay. And it goes all the way to the back of the truck, and I think it went to a backup camera. So it makes sense for one wire to go to the radio. That's no longer there, obviously. It must have had an aftermarket radio, but 
one wire to that and then one wire back to the back where the camera was. I remembered when I first got the truck I opened the tailgate and shut it and it was shutting weird and it hit something and I realized there was a camera in between the tailgate where it was shutting in the jam so I pulled the camera out and so I figured out what that wire is for and for whatever reason that switch was needed for the backup camera. I guess he didn't know how to wire it correctly into the reverse reverse bulb I guess is how you do it to get it to come on when you put the truck in reverse so that's what the switch is for Got the backup camera rat's nest out so the next step would be to clean everything up and get my remote shifter made and then obviously clean all the rest of the stuff and get it all put back together here's the carpet disgusting obviously it needs to be cleaned up really well all the panels off the bottom of the dash I'm gonna take the glove box off of this piece it's riveted on there reuse it and then I got a new one of these for under the steering wheel probably gonna reuse this I might get a new one that's actually for an 03 and here's the whole rear air vent system there's all the rest of the parts this has been bugging me since the day I got it. This piece is loose in here. To clean all this stuff up. Not going to reuse this, obviously. Passenger seat is good. Driver's seat needs some work. And here's the insulation. Check it out, guys. You guys just saw the carpet a little bit ago. So what I did is took a little bit of cleaner, sprayed it on there, brushed it a little bit. Not sure if that really did anything, but and then I just power washed it. So the driver's side footwell didn't quite get as good looking as the rest of it, but I sat here and power washed on this spot for probably five minutes straight. But I'm pretty happy with this. Looks really, really good for what it looked like before. Just gotta let it dry out really good. A little bit of rust where the jack is mounted, but that didn't really come out. Not too worried about that. But looks pretty dang good for what it looked like before. I let that dry out really good while I work on the rest. So I got my remote shifter made. You guys are going to see that in a different video. I got my carpet laying back in there. Pretty happy with it. Really glad I didn't spend the 400, 500 bucks on the new carpet. Cleaned up really, really nice, except for just a couple minor stains. And the driver's side footwells didn't clean, clean up quite as well as the rest, but it's going to be under a floor mat for the most part. But it looks really, really good for just power washing it out. pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna clean up the rest of the parts, start throwing stuff back in. Probably not gonna film a lot of it because I already have, have another video like that so I gotta put all my dash pieces back in, get the remote shifter back in and put the console in and everything else. So I'm not gonna show a lot of it but I've had people ask before and are interested to see a little bit of the cleaning process that I do. So this is the piece that goes where the hood release is. So what I use to clean all a lot of the parts I do is this stuff, PLC, plastic leather cleaner. I get it through my Chevy dealer, so I'm not sure if you can really get it online yourself, but that's what I use. Put in a little spray bottle, use a somewhat stiff, kind of soft brush. Just spray some on there, brush it, and wipe it off usually turns out really good so I'm just going to show a little bit of that So there you go, that's all I do to clean interior parts. I always clean the back side of everything too when I have it out. Sometimes it's dirtier than the front, so. This stuff is a really good cleaner, it's not a dressing, so it dries really nice, matte finish, so that's what I like. 
I don't like shiny interior parts, so that's all there's to that. Sorry about the lighting in here, but I pretty much have everything back together, ready to put the console back in. Got my remote shifter made and in. If you want more information about the remote shifters, I'm going to have a separate video showing the kits and everything, talking more about that. So I have all the dash pieces in for the console, new glove box trim, new knee bolster, console bracket. So pretty much ready to throw the console in, get everything back together. Pretty happy with the carpet, like I said, multiple times, but I think it turned out really good. So I got everything back together. I will take this outside tomorrow. It is dark right now. I'll take it outside, give you a better look. I got the seats, the console, got the shifter back in. Like I said, if you want to see more information about the remote shifters, I have a separate video for that. But if you can tell here, I can't even believe it, but I got some Walmart floor mats just for temporary because the truck came with some really ugly ones, some black ones and a different dirty gray one on that side. So just got some Walmart ones for temporary use only. I'm going to look for some 03 and newer style light gray ones. But like I said, I'll show you this better outside tomorrow. But here's a, one of the things where you might want to get an 03 and newer dash bezel. As you can see there, it has a little bit of an awkward gap. but doesn't really look too bad in my opinion so we'll get it outside in the light tomorrow take a better look so here's the finished product for now just want to go over uh, just a few things that I still plan to do that might look a little bad as of now so driver's seat cover I want to get a new one it's got cigarette burns and rips floor mats like I mentioned are temporary I do want to get some 03 OEM ones I do want to get a new driver door panel I did have one off in a junkyard but I ended up not taking it because I thought it wasn't quite nice enough but I regret that now I also do have a nice steering wheel that I got at a junkyard this one's not bad but the one I got is just really really nice so I had to take it so like I said just disregard those few things that I was talking about everything else should be pretty much good to go pretty happy with it Passenger door panel looks really nice. So, pretty happy with the finished product overall. Carpet cleaned up really nice. I did keep the 99, or in this case, 2000 OEM mats in the back. But the mats that came with the truck were just really ugly, so I had to get at least some gray ones. But like I said, getting some 03 OEM ones at some point. Just want to give you a little sneak peek at the remote shifter since this video is going to go out first before the video that I show the kit in more detail and say that they're for sale. So this is what the shifter looks like. There's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. Pretty happy with it with the stock shifter. Like I said, I'll go into more detail in that video, but just a little sneak peek for you. Pretty happy with the interior overall. Oh, another thing I forgot. I might get an 03 and newer dash cluster bezel trim piece, whatever this is called. Goes all the way around here. It will make this look more like it should. It'll come down farther. So, might get one of those too. So, there you go. There's what the interior looks like now. Like I said, pretty happy with it other than those few things that I mentioned. We'll save those for another video. But now should be able to move on to the exterior of the truck. Start to make it a little nicer. But there it is. Pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching.